Hi everyone and welcome back to Hearts Horon for the Great War. So, let's continue where we left off. And I'm thinking we should bring back some of our colonial armies. Especially the ones in Asia, because if China attacks me here, it's not like I'll be able to defend myself anyway. So, yeah, might as well just bring these guys back home. They will be slightly more useful there. However, all the armies in Africa might be slightly more useful if we end up fighting here. Mona Lisa has been stolen, alright. That's not good. Also, I guess we should move some of the troops to the Italian border. I don't even think we need any armies on the Spanish border right now, not to mention we can always move them in the future, if that's going to be necessary. Let's just move over. Off you go. And research is done, so let's have a look. What do we want next? Hard attack, soft attack, but then we got division speed and organization bonus, or organization and reinforce rate bonus. Minus 5% division speed, I don't like that. Let's go for soft attack and mobile position. Sounds good. Alright, we can also exercise all our troops in Africa. They will be useful for something. And actually, let's just create an army here. Like so. And we got some more in the south. We'll add them as well. Alright, looks good. Anything else? Nope, but that's it. They can get us some army experience. Why not? We'll need more. Anyway, research. That was national focus. What do we want next, then? We still got a few months before we can go for infrastructure effort. Yep, we need to wait until January. What else can we get? Air experience? I don't think we need that all that much. Artillery effort. We can just get more political power or infrastructure in Africa or in Asia in this case. I don't think we need that. North African colonial civilian factories. Yeah, that's useful. Let's grab that. More civilian factories are always a good thing. Speaking of civilian factories, we are almost done with our queue. Let's just remove the last one and we'll get started on some military factories because we need those badly. We still got all shortage, but that's the only shortage we got. Not really worried about that part. Do we have enough infantry equipment by now? We probably do. Almost, we need like 1000 more, 1600 more. A lot more motorized and more support equipment. Well, that's why we need more military factories. Just need to wait for that. Alright, let's use speed 5. Because there's not a lot happening anyway. Germany has a lot of divisions on the border. But that's to be expected, I suppose. We'll need some trenches on the German border. So, there's artillery done. Let's have a look. Yeah, 1914. That would take a little bit too long right now. Let's go for something else. What can we actually research that won't involve taking a penalty? One of the new battalions? What about industry? Just oil production. But we don't need that right now. Everything else is a few years ahead of time. Engineering is not, but these takes are not super useful for us right now. Not really. We can always get the Air Doctrine. I don't think that's super useful. If anything, Naval Doctrine would be slightly more useful. Let's research that, I suppose. And... what? Oh yeah, war in Asia. We don't have to worry about that right now, but... We might get involved in some future. 
Not because we want to. Anyway, that's not really a concern right now. We need to get ready for our war with Germany. That's our number one concern. This will certainly be interesting. Let's maybe move some of these guys. We have too many on the border anyway. So just move them over. Off you go. That's good enough for now. So, how's that research going? A few more months. And factories? Let's queue up a few more. This will take a while, but we need a lot more military factories. And what's going on in Africa? Not a whole lot. We are exercising. Might as well assign a general here. Let's have a look. Okay, hold on. Pause. Italy declared war on the Ottoman Empire, alright? Italian invasion of Libya. Carry on then. So which general do we want to assign here? The recon guy. Sure. Can we not assign him? Yes, we can. Off you go then. And national focus. Let's have a look. More political power. And more political power. We still need two more months. French warfare focus. Plus 10 army experience. 15% research bonus for early support weapons. Early support weapons 2 and 3. Okay. Doctrine effort. Let's go for doctrine effort. How's our recruitment? We are only recruiting one division at a time right now, but that was mostly because I was waiting for equipment. Now that we do have enough equipment... Let's see, how much heavy artillery are we producing? It's getting better. Yeah, we need to add that to our division template. Let's have a look. Let's check our main division template, this one. And we can add some heavy artillery. I guess, yeah. Should be fine, 21 combat width. Well, that's not good, but we could probably make a 40 combat width division. Or we can always replace one of the infantry divisions. That's a possibility. I'll have to think about it. But I'm leaning towards 40 combat with. We need more heavy artillery anyway. So we can wait a little bit. That's a lot of troops on the border. South Pole reached. Not very relevant. So, how's that research going? 20 more days to finish Signal Company. And it will be done in January. Perfect timing. Then we can start something new. That actually requires 1912. Come on, hurry up. Almost there. And how's our production? Let's have a look. We need more motorized, if you can call it that. That's what the game calls it, so that's what I'll call it. There's the signal company. Alright, now. Let's have a look. Infantry. 435 days. That's a lot. Gas mask. 978 days. Yeah, that's way too much. We won't be researching that right now, that's for sure. What about the next industrial tech? Yeah, that will also take a while. But we could get started if we really wanted to. It's probably better to go for early support weapons. 
that's 435 days. Not totally terrible, or we could also go for early motorized, which is not a bad idea. Ah, screw it, let's go for early support weapons. Any tech that helps infantry will be very useful. And we need it. Okay, so there's Doctrine Effort, now we can do something that requires 1912. Which is going to be Infrastructure Effort. Yep. That's that. Adds one Infrastructure. Not super useful, but we need 1913 for the next civilian factory. So that will have to wait. We also got Airfield Expansion. That might be useful too, adds one airbase in Normandy, okay, in three different regions. Dockyard expansion, adds two naval dockyards. Let's just go for infrastructure effort, and then we'll see. So carry on. Well, that was a quick war. Good for them. How's our political power? 48. We need way more than that. We are only getting 0.20 per day. Mostly because of the disjointed government modifier. We can get rid of it, and I guess we should. Otherwise, this will be very, very slow. That should be one of the priorities. Maybe we should start producing some planes. The Moroccan crisis. Provoked by the increasing power of France over the state, Moroccan citizens have begun a rebellion against the Sultan. As the French are preparing to lift the siege on the palace in Fez, the Germans have sent the SMS Panther to the port of Agadir in support of the rebels. Well, carry on then. Grand Duke William IV dies. France annexes Morocco. Spain becomes owner and controller of Spanish Africa. Gains claim on Spanish Africa. German Empire gets event. France offers Cameroon concession. Let's slow this down to speed 4. So there it is, there's Morocco. I wonder if we'll have to wait until 1914 before war actually starts, but that's only two more years, that's not a whole lot of time to prepare. I think we should start building the trenches sometime soon. Yeah, I think we should. Anyway, let's check the civilian factory queue, or military factory queue in this case, and queue up some more. We'll need a lot more than this. But at the same time, we should get started on some trenches. So how about we do that? Just looking at the border. Alright, let's start one at a time, and we'll move it to the front of the queue. Slowly work on that. How's our army experience? 73. We still need more. So what about the divisions? What if we add regular artillery? No, that's still 21 combat with. I guess we could go up to 40, but that will require a lot of infantry equipment. Might be better to just replace infantry with heavy artillery like this. That's 19 combat with. And that is better. I think we'll do that, yeah. It won't affect max speed. It's still 4 km per hour. Organization 46.7. Alright, let's do it like this. And how much heavy artillery will we need? Probably a lot. I can't see just yet. But we likely have a large shortage. Heavy artillery. 1.5k. Alright, well, we'll work on it. Meanwhile, 
Let's pick our next national focus. So if we want to get rid of this jointed government, we need to get, yeah, this decision down here. It will take a while to get there. But I think we'll go this way. So reinforce Republic's authority, that's plus 100 political power. Then democratism focus. Alright, let's do that. And next research. Let's have a look. 555 days to get weapons to. I'm actually leaning towards getting started on weapons to. The sooner we start, the faster we'll get it, and if we start right now, we'll actually get weapons to in 1914. Which will help quite a bit. How big is the difference? Let's have a look. 17 defense instead of 13. 2.5 soft attack instead of 2.0. Higher breakthrough. Yeah, the difference is there, it's quite significant. Alright, let's get started on the weapons though. That way we'll get them in 1914. So hopefully we'll be able to start upgrading before the war actually starts. I also think we should start recruiting more divisions. So let's maybe do that. We'll finish this run. And then just start a new one with more. Yeah, like this. Just finish that and then we'll start something new. With a few divisions at a time. 81 factories so far. Let's use speed 5 again. I'm quite curious how this will go. Sinking of the Titanic. Uh, hold on, we already got some trenches here, that's level 3. Okay, let's get level 3 all along the border first. And then we'll see. Oh, that's a little bit too much. I went a little bit overboard with that. Remove. Okay, that's better. Alright, and we'll get level 3 in these regions. Then we can work on it further. Plus 1, plus 1, plus 1. I think that's good. Yep, looks good to me. Do we have any trenches on the Italian border? Not really. I guess we should get some. But this is a lot of provinces. This is lower priority because we got a lot of mountains here. And Germany will be the main focus. The Olympic Games. And it's easier to defend in the mountains, so... I'm not too worried about that. Military factories. Well, we need heavy artillery, so let's focus on that a little bit more. And then we still need a lot of support equipment. Alright. So what about some planes? I think we should start some production line. Let's have a look. Scout, early fighter... Airship. Sure. Let's get some. We'll get some early fighters and some airships. But it will be low priority. It's mostly to start building up production efficiency. We can reduce field artillery a little bit. Yeah, this will do. It's just to start working on production efficiency. All right, carry on then. It's already May. It won't take long before war actually starts. And research is finished. That's plus 10% soft attack. Next up, we got mobile position. We could go for something else, but let's keep working on land doctrines. And we'll take advantage of that 20% bonus. High seas fleet is almost done. We don't really need that, but... We'll get it anyway. The Chinese war is already done, apparently. And the focus is done. So, let's keep working towards... ...removing the disjointed government modifier. 
what will we get from this? Gains national spirit, liberty ethos, which grants trade deal opinion factor plus 20%. That's not as important. I wouldn't mind more political power before we continue working on this. What else can we get? Air experience? No. Artillery effort. Trench warfare focus. Maybe. Equipment effort. 15% research bonus for infantry weapons. A little bit too late for that, but we can use it in the future. Plus 10 army experience, 15% bonus for early support weapons. I don't think we need that, do we? Not right now. No, we are already researching support weapons. So it's not as important. We'll use it in the future. What else do we have here? Air experience, research bonus for air doctrine, airfield expansion, dockyard expansion. Let's actually grab artillery effort to keep working on artillery techs a little bit faster. And research. It's still 1912. Maybe we should get started on early motorized. It will be a nice boost. And what about support battalions? 1914 to get the upgrade. Field hospital upgrade would be nice. And the industry? 521 days. That's still a little bit too much. Yeah, that's way too much right now. Artillery takes 300. Oh, just over a year. Yeah, how about we start working on that, on heavy artillery? Heavy artillery 2. Okay, let's start working on that then. And we'll finish in 1913. Hopefully we'll get some before war starts. And what about our political power? What do we want to use it for? I think we should actually start preparing for war here. So... Chief of Army. Plus 4% organization or plus 5% attack. I think extra organization will be a little bit better. Alright, we'll grab that guy. If the attack bonus was higher, I would probably pick that. How's our experience? 79. Keep exercising then. The Balkan League. In a surprising move, several Balkan countries, including rival states Serbia and Bulgaria, have come together to form the Balkan League. A military alliance stated to have been built up against Austria-Hungary. Though the alliance target is Habsburgs, it seems far more likely that the state that divides these four nations would be their target. We are getting closer. Yeah, more factories. We don't need more infantry equipment, do we? Well, we'll need it in the future, I guess. It's good to have extra. Not to mention we need to start training more divisions soon. We'll do something like this. Okay, looks good. How about motorized? Do we still need more? We probably do. Yeah, we do. Mostly motorized and heavy artillery. And a lot of support equipment. We should actually prioritize support equipment more. Like this. And how's the factory queue? Construction. The trenches are done. Let's maybe keep working on that a bit. Because it's important. Here. That's going to be level 4. It will be best to get level 10 before the war and there it is. War in the Balkans. We won't be joining in just yet, but it's starting. The Balkan League declared war on the Ottomans. Hashtag remove kebab. There's artillery effort. Next up. Let's have a look. Artillery effort 2? Yeah, we could go for that. Also trench warfare focus. 
No, we don't need that right now. If anything, equipment effort might be worth grabbing in advance. Let's get equipment effort. Yeah, Germany doesn't exactly like us, which is not unexpected, obviously. We know what's going to happen here. Maybe we should move some of these troops. Yeah, let's move them over to the German border. Here, off you go. A few more. And I suppose I could bring all the troops from Africa. We'll probably need everything we can possibly get. So I'm leaning towards just bringing them over. Yeah, let's just bring them over. I have a feeling we'll need them all. Including this guy? Yes, including that guy. We likely won't have the resources to fight a war in Africa. At least not early on. And pushing back against Germany will be way more important than that. I'm quite curious how this will go. I guess we'll see. How many fighters do we have? Not a whole lot. But I guess it will do for now. Just create some air wings. Alright, looks good. And where does the air region extend? Northern France. Oh yeah, that's a really big one. We'll just send them right away. And normal operations. Alright, keep it like that. Well, Germany is moving around a lot. I don't like that. Hey, what do you think you're doing? I hope this is going to be enough. Only one way to find out. We still got 3000 shortage in support equipment. And 1.4k in heavy artillery. So, equipment effort 2. And let's keep working towards removing this jointed government. Probably. I don't see anything else that would be a priority right now. We can get more political power, but... We'll get a lot of political power once we remove that obnoxious modifier. So let's just keep working towards that. How's production going? Construction. The trenchers are already done. Let's get another round then. It's pretty quick. So we should definitely fortify more. Here. How long does it actually take? Until November. Oh, it takes less than a month. Alright. That's not a problem at all, then. But finish these two factories that are almost done. Anyway, I'm going to make a cut here and continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.